In old San Antonio, born and raised on the TVs where I watch NBA games, chilling out, maxing and relaxing, all cool and all, watching some b-ball out by the pool when a Colorado team, which was up to no good, started making trouble with our playoff push. We played one little game and the Nuggets got scared. They said they thought that they were ready, but the Spurs were prepared. I whistled for the coach and when he came near, there was something in his eye and it looked like a tear. If anything, I could tell that this guy was low, so I took him by the hand and whispered, go Spurs, go. Fly, raptor, fly to the sky. With J.P. Roddy. Woo woo! What's good, everybody? It's your boy, a.k.a. J.P. Roddy. It's playoff time, baby. We in San Antonio in Spurs country. We got the Tim Duncan mural right here. It's all about them Spurs, baby. Uh, so it's playoff time. That's right, that's right, yeah, yeah. That guy knows what's up, go Spurs. <laughs> that guy's not really talking about the Spurs, but go Spurs, baby. We in San Antonio, look at this thing right here. Uh, there's a mural right there, pal. Yeah, so it's, it's playoff time. Uh, so if your team's in the playoffs, cool. Uh, you know, enjoy it. If your team ain't in the playoffs, you know, it'll make it even sweeter when they are. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, we're gonna talk about some NBA stuff today. Uh, this place got some history. This is a uh, uh, Frankie Diablo's. Uh, man, this is the site where I saw Manu. Uh, mail truck, mailman. He parked his truck. The brake came undone, and it started rolling down the street. It came right up here, right up here in the parking lot, right to this wall where they made a uh, a mural of him. And it pinned this little guy, he was playing a trombone. It pinned him down. God rest his soul, sorry. No, he's not, he didn't die then, but uh, he's playing his trombone and it pinned him down. Uh, and everyone was freaking out, no one knew what to do. Uh, and no joke, Manu showed up out of nowhere. This mural wasn't even here. He came in, he lifted the car up and the guy, the guy came out and he was playing a sad song, but he, everyone was happy, it was cool. Uh, later they made this mural right here and no joke, uh, Manu was here for it, right? Both times he wasn't wearing shoes. That's weird. Uh, but the second time he came here, they, un they unveiled it. Uh, there was a pack of wild dogs that had attacked one of those Statue of Liberty uh, tax return people. Attacked them and people freaking out. Oh, what the hell? And Manu ran in again. He saved the day. He's a legend. Manu, you know? Uh, so you might be asking, why am I wearing two pairs of goggles right here? It's playoffs, duh. All right? So we talking NBA, we talking playoffs. I hope everyone's good. You know, this is this is Spurs country here. So we got Tim Duncan over here, uh, the greatest. You know, the greatest Spur of all time. No offense, George Gervin, who I met. You know, George Gervin, who I met. I met him at a TCBY. Oh man, it was good. It was great. Uh, but you know, this place is playoff times, and we're we're getting at it. So the Nuggets. You know, like my intro said, you know, not really. The Nuggets play hard. I'm going to give them that. Uh, I'm, I'm not hating. I'll give them respect. That was a good game. It's going to be a good series. But my Spurs had that moxie. That moxie, baby. Uh, so, you know, Barton looked good. You know, what's his name? Murray. I think that's his name, Murray. I don't know much about him. Uh, Murray, I think? I don't know. I'll find out his name. He looked good. Whatever his name is. Uh, you know, look good. Everyone looked good except, you know, my boy Derek White posterizing uh, Paul Millsaps. You know, Derek White oh, dunked right on his butt, right? You know, and earlier in that game, this guy from Denver went up for one of those dunks and he missed it and he came down. He was like, whoa! Uh, be quiet, man. You didn't even make the dunk. Everyone's all getting lit, going crazy there at the place, whatever it's called, the Pepsi Center. You know, my boy Derek White, look at that poster. He posterized him. Hims. You know, shout out to Derek White. People saying he was just going to be the backup, uh, the backup quarterback, the backup point guard. Uh, look at what he's doing. And you throw DeJounte Murray in that mix. Woo, we good, we good. Lonnie Walker, too. Either way, that's only game one. We know we got to stay humble. We got to stay humble because we ain't done nothing yet. But it felt good, didn't it? 
it felt real good but you know shout out to the the nuggets they're they're a solid squad they're good they couldn't use that mile high uh, atmosphere to their advantage we went up there with Bree breathers on baby we them pros we them vets we them frogman baby throw us in we coming out on top sorry you know how i do i'm biased um but yeah good game guys i'm gonna get into the other teams other stuff uh when i get in the car because you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my Spurs, you know, wrap up here by the mural. All the other matchups I'll do here in the car. So let's get to that. Thanks. LA, baby. <laughs> it's me, your boy. I'm just here, and that's the Tower of America. And that's where, that's where Captain America lives in the Tower of America. Y'all didn't know that. Yeah. The more you know. The more you know. So what's up guys? I appreciate y'all coming back. You know, I'm just, this is some real basketball talks. Real basketball talks. <laughs> uh, so we got into the Spurs. My lips was a little dry. I had to get some water. You know, it's hot today. You know, you know it's hot too. It, it is hot. Um, that's why I said it was hot. All right, enough with that. Okay, so anyways. The Spurs Nuggets, that was a good, good game. Good, you know, I'm excited about that. You know, I'm not excited about the, the Bucks and the Pistons. Come on, that's boring. Come on, guys, wake up. Bucks might just be that good in this early of a stage of the playoffs. Um, who else got blown out? Uh, well, no, no, the Celtics just beat up on the Pacers, but name one player from the Pacers. I think Oladipo went back or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they're an eighth seed or whatever, it's seventh. Uh, Celtics look good, you know. I didn't even watch the game, but you know they're gonna win that series. Uh, Raptors, that was kind of funny. You know, I didn't watch the game either. I saw, you know, the ball in Kawhi's hand, he made some play and I think he missed one at the end. You know, I didn't see the game, so I don't wanna like accuse them of nothing. I just know what the last year, the Spurs, they had with the Spurs, there was a lot of hero ball, like get out of the way, get out of Kawhi's uh, way. And you know that was annoying to watch for me, just because I don't. I like to see, I like to see ball movement. You know, that's what she said. Um, uh, so, anyways, uh, they might turn it on, or they might have the same uh, problems that you know Kawhi just. You know, I, I I haven't checked his passing numbers. Maybe he's a really good assist man now. I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, so them's yeah, the Rockets beat up on the Jazz. Rudy Gobert, oh, 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 Rudy Gobert, yeah, oh, okay, whatever. Um, so anyways, the Rockets just might have too much firepower for the the Jazz. You know, there ain't no Jazz in Utah. It's a uh, that's a uh, what do you call that? Uh, like oxymoron, Utah Jazz. Uh, either way. Uh, the Warriors beat up on the Clippers. Sorry, Clippers. You know, come on, guys. Ain't nothing you can do about it. You know, just do your best. Uh, who else am I missing? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh yeah. So um, the the last game was the uh the. Portland Trailblazers and the Oklahoma City Thunder. You know that's a that's gonna be an it's an entertaining series, but they're both like two stacked teams. You know they're gonna trade. One team will get hot, the other one will get hot. You know Russ will get hot, Lillard will get hot. You know PG will get hot, then McCollum will get hot. You know, but what I think it ultimately boils down to is gonna be home court. So, uh, you know I'm not the biggest fan of Portland. You know I, I like the place, even though I've never been there, but the Blazers, I don't believe in them, you know, make a believer out of me. Uh, I'll accept it, but I'm not a believer yet. Um, but I'll give them the, the go ahead in this first round because they have a home court. Um, so I'll get a, I'll get some more, you know, reviews and stuff. Oh, let me grab this hell out. Okay. Sorry. I had to switch it up now. Uh, I'll make some more videos on some, uh, as we keep going, what I think, you know, this is some just choice expertise. I run the, the algorithms, the databases, you know, this is high science that I'm bringing to you. So just trust me. Uh, 
so anyways yeah uh, it's been fun um you know if we can get a like i said if i can get a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of the night if we can get this video up to 500 million views uh 500 million views uh i've already got i'm already in talks with uh the the naval base um if this video the the naval base at uh corpus christi i can't tell you which one um if this video gets enough thumbs up and you know just reaction uh i've got the all clear the go ahead uh, to be launched out of uh, a torpedo hatch to be fired out of a, a torpedo hatch from a nuclear submarine uh, We're gonna go down about five leagues look it up if you don't know how deep a league is cuz I don't even know I'm just I'm just getting launched, baby. I'm just getting launched, baby. It's your world. I'm just living in it uh, But no if it if it makes it to that many views and subscribers, you know by the end of the day uh, Yeah, it's all it's all good uh, I, you know, I said I had a podcast coming up where I was going to be broadcasting from the inside of a, a stealth bomber. I did it, uh, but you know, that's the funny thing about a stealth bomber. Things don't exist when you get in. Them. Uh, so I wish I could show you the podcast, you know, uh, but we were off the grid. We were off the grid. So that podcast like doesn't exist. It was epic though. Epic. Oh, okay. It was epic. <laughs> like oh it was classified but either way uh if we get this to enough views enough likes it's all go ahead for that uh to be launched out of a torpedo shoot of a nuclear sub uh speaking of that a while ago i saw tony parker get launched out of a cannon it was pretty cool uh not at a uh not at a fundraiser or anything like that uh, it was in his own backyard yeah he's got like he's got one of those cannons I don't know. I think he's just into some some silly stuff. Um, but he's got one of those cannons and man, he was launching himself out of that thing all all day. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. One of the best days of my life. Uh so thanks for hitting me up, guys. You know, I'm gonna be releasing some more videos. I got a bourbon review coming out. I'm all over the place, but uh if you like what you see, if you're liking me, then you know. Give me a thumbs up or something, please. Leave something, okay? Too many people watch these videos and they leave nothing. Leave me a thumbs down. Leave something, all right? It's your boy, JP Roddy. Peace out. Don't be strangers. Much love. People always ask me, uh, why do you wear the goggles? And I say, that's the price to pay for having magnetic eyes.